Hi guys, welcome to another video. As I'm recording this voiceover, it is currently the day before my birthday and this entire video will be kind of revolving around things that I did for my birthday, such as a speed paint of a self-portrait and I'm gonna be making cupcakes and a cake and decorating them, which is gonna be so much fun. And during the speed paint, I'm also gonna talk about my New Year's resolutions. And with that, I wish you guys a happy new year. I hope that your year is filled with beautiful art and happy thoughts. And with that, we're just gonna jump right into baking. Okay guys, hi, welcome to my kitchen once again at this point. I'm not even surprised that I'm filming in my kitchen anymore. But we're just gonna start. Oh my god. Any of you guys hungry? Okay guys, it is time for the most incredibly incoherent voiceover that I've ever done that editing me is absolutely gonna love. I can already I can already see me tomorrow sitting there being what on earth. So the cakes are in the oven right now. So I wanted to bake cakes, right? And I didn't want my parents to be running around, but they kind of were, so I had to wait for like two hours until my mother was finally going to do groceries and I had like it's time to crack the eggs last time um we didn't talk about last time actually and I had like some indefinite time of making the entire cakes and yeah so here we are we're gonna have to hurry but the fun part is obviously the decorating which I'm still not sure how I'm, or even when I'm gonna do that but that one was really smooth that will be fine that's future me's problem so well I I'm just mixing everything you can probably see that so what my plan is for these cakes, cupcakes, is that I'm gonna decorate them and I wanna decorate them with like heaven, heaven officials blessing themed things because that is my current obsession and even though almost none of my friends except for one, hi, um, are into that, uh, I'm just gonna do it. It's my birthday, it was my birthday and I'm just gonna do what I want and if you don't know what heavenly officials blessing is, heaven officials blessing, um, I hope that you can still enjoy the video. There's plenty more. I'm not gonna do all of it in one go, that's not that good. And speaking of my birthday, I wanna thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. That's really sweet. I had a great day yesterday, so thank you. Okay guys, I actually had more time than I thought for voiceover, so here is yet another voiceover. I hope that you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, please like, no, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna ramble a little bit more. I hope that you guys are enjoying the video and seeing me bake. I am once again proving that this video is like my most disorganized video yet. Speaking of which, I kind of like plan my videos so that I know what's coming in like the next couple months so that I don't overwhelm myself. But I was actually gonna do like a sketchbook tour this week, but then it was like... I have this speed paint now and I'm gonna bake again and decorating them is gonna be fun. So here we are and it's just another silly little video. I don't really have to like put too much pressure on myself to make them professional. They are not professional so they're just for fun and they're gonna be more fun. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed but I, I mean maybe I look disorganized but I'm honestly like really organized. But I am impulsive and this video kind of embodies that a little bit and I'm trying to be like more loose and spontaneous with my voiceovers. I hope that your guys' 2024 is doing great so far. Mine is. It's only the third, but I had a great two, three days. Um, let me know. Let me know what how let me know what your favorite thing is to bake. I like I kind of like baking. Let me guys know what your favorite thing to bake is. I don't know what mine is. Um, maybe editing me will know. Speaking of which, yeah, this is not the most... It's actually... No, that's not true. I was gonna be like, oh, this is gonna be horrible to edit, but it is kind of fun. I'm 
also going to have to clean the kitchen after this, but that's fine. Also, if you're wondering, wow, why is it so much? Also, if you're wondering what the sound in the background is, I'm not even sure, but it's my dad. He's doing something. But yeah, I'm making like two servings because I want to make a cake and cupcakes. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Liquid smooth. Okay, I think we're all good. I put on the oven because I forgot. But it's obviously time for a taste test. Okay. Not okay. What if I just come really close? Okay. That really doesn't taste like anything special. Okay, so now comes kind of the hard... Is this anything? Yeah. Now comes kind of the hard part, which is um, dividing it in two. Half of it is... Oh, that's perfectly in frame. Half of it is gonna go in there. And the other half in here. Okay, this is kind of heavy. Also, I want to say that like all of the measurements are in cups and I don't know what Americans use and I'm not American. So I had to like convert them and I'm really hoping that I did that well. Uh, and also I am not an experienced baker, but... Okay, now it's time. I have baked before and this is like the easiest cake recipe there is. So I think, I think we'll be all right. We're gonna see. I'm gonna feed this to my friends, so it's gonna have to tastes good, hopefully. Something like that. For now. I think we're gonna need more. Let's just fill up the cupcakes and see how we get there. I don't think it's enough, but we're just gonna do the cupcakes now and see how much we can Ooh, fill in here. Oh, one more thing actually. So maybe what I realized at the very end is that maybe the cake batter... So I made two portions, right? Because I wanted... I thought that one cake wouldn't be enough for all of my friends. Um, because I have... Okay, so... So I wanted... So I made two and I made like the cupcakes. But as I was like filling the cupcakes and the cakes, which went great by the way, you can see that. This is all... No, because this is always the worst part about making cupcakes. Like, how do you do this? I'm really... Not sure if it was actually meant for like 20 cupcakes or something because okay. I only made 12. Actually, maybe I'm a pro. And then I put like a lot in the big cake. So we're just gonna see how that's gonna go. I think we'll be fine. Now that I think about it, I didn't buy any gem to put in between, which I wanted to do. No! I was like, I don't need to film everything. This is fine. This is not fine. Um, we'll be fine. We also still have to make the buttercream thingy frosting. Oh my god. I did see that coming actually. Okay. Oh my god, no! No! Oh my god. Doesn't this look delicious? Mmm! I don't like it anymore, I don't. No! Stop! Stop! What am I supposed to do with this? Just put it in there. This is, this is not going well. It started off so well. What even? I think I need to put like less- oh, oh wow. In there. See? S see? Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no.
if any experienced bakers are watching, uh, I don't take constructive criticism. If you think my art is bad, okay, I can you can you, you can just say that. Baking is um, I don't even know where I'm going. I think I think all is good. I think these are full enough. So we're just gonna take the rest of this and put it in the thingy. So yeah, right as I was about to put the cake in the oven, my mother came back. Um, but there they are in the oven, you can see them. And with that, we're gonna continue to... Well, not continue. No, we are gonna continue. We're gonna continue to the speed paints. Yay! So that will be the first part of the baking. The decorating comes later. Now I'm going to tell you guys a bit about my New Year's resolutions. But a bit of a disclaimer first. Um, I'm not really a believer of New Year's resolutions in a way because they don't really work. If you really want to change a habit, you gotta like change your mindset. I watched a video about that, so I'm not gonna go into that. I'll be sure to link it in the video description. It was like about art resolutions in particular and it was a really interesting video, so be sure to watch it. And with that, I also want to say that I kind of made these up on the spot because I didn't really make any, but there are some things that I want to accomplish this year, so I'm guessing those are my New Year's resolutions. So we're just gonna talk about those. So first things first, I really want to improve my art even more this year, but I have pretty much been doing that in the last five years, so it's not that interesting. I'm not gonna go too much in depth. I just want to improve like my, just my general art skills, like all of them, right? Just I'm not gonna list all of them. Because also I've been doing pretty well this past half year. I've been like consistently improving my art and drawing a lot. So I'm just gonna continue doing that. I don't need a new year's to like change that again. I'm just gonna continue. But there are a couple things that, I'm, that are different this year. Such as... I really want to try to get into like... Well, quote unquote art school is not really an art school. It's kind of, it's kind of like that. So a bit of a backstory because you probably don't know. So I finished high school last year and I decided to take like a gap year for um, personal reasons. But next year I really do want to study and with the way that things are going right now, I'm probably going to do a, an art study that is related to interior design. And well, if you know me a bit, um, interior design is not really my, like on first sight, my point of interest or the thing that I do a lot because I mostly focus on like character illustrations because that's the one thing that I like doing the most. But I've been thinking a lot about wanting to do an art study or another study like unrelated to art. Like if you make your hobby your job, you're pretty much just gonna work uh, for the rest of your life, right? And I don't really want that. But I do want to do something creative because everything else just really doesn't interest me. So like I said, I've been thinking about it and I decided that I kind of want to do something that's creative and related to art, but not like illustration or animation, right? So I was like, what about interior design? So I started to look for studies that were related to that. And because I thought that it would be fun, like I like organizing things and planning things and interior design is kind of like that in art form in a way. It's also like... I think it's very like perspective related and I really don't like drawing perspective so I still have to look a bit into that but that's that's fine I can learn so with my research I found a study that I'm obviously not gonna go into too much detail because one I don't want anyone being on my doorstep like oh you live here because you study this that's just creepy and um, on top of that I still have to apply and maybe I'm not even gonna do it so I'm just gonna stay vague. I'm just gonna tell about other things. But yeah, I did some research and I found one that kind of like fits my views and desires as much as like more than any other study you could find. But yeah, speaking of needing to get accepted for that, I will also need to work on a portfolio this year because <laughs> I really don't have one. So it's about time, I think. 
So I've been doing my research about interior design portfolios and just portfolios in general, you know, on the internet, there's plenty there. In case you haven't heard, a huge... No, anyways. Uh, I'm just rambling already and it hasn't even been that long. That's fine. But yeah, I'm not really experienced in interior design yet, which... If I'm gonna study it, I'm gonna learn it so I don't have to learn everything beforehand. That's not how it works, but I do want to know something, right? And also for my portfolio. So I'm probably gonna have to learn like a lot of new things, but I also think that's exciting because I love learning new things. So yeah, we're gonna see how things are gonna go. At the end of the day, everything will be fine no matter what the future looks like. We can't look at it and with our thoughts to the future at hand, we continue to the best. <laughs> Okay, and with those incredibly wise words, um, we are going to continue the decorating part, which is going to be so much fun. If you haven't noticed, I haven't made the cakes yet because I didn't have the time. And also, if you can hear fireworks, well, it's the 1st of January, so there's still fireworks outside. But I hope you can hear those. But yeah, we're going to go to the decorating. I'll see you there on the other side. Okay, guys, hey, it is the next day. So it's time to make the frosting real quick. And I looked up a recipe online, right? And they were like, oh, three cups of powdered sugar. So I was like, how much is that? And, well, this turns out to be one cup, this entire thingy. And I'm not gonna exceed this because I don't want to give all of my friends diabetes. So we're just gonna do this, see if it works. I've never made frosting before. We're gonna see how it goes. We've got the butter. This angle is also somehow even worse than yesterday, but... We're gonna have to do. Oh my god. So far, so good. I just don't understand how this is going to be solid because. Look at it, it's just powder. So more, ooh, so more powder, woo! Okay, we're gonna add vanilla and then I'm gonna look up the recipe and see what I'm doing wrong. Also, we're not gonna measure this because, hey, who needs measuring? Also, I feel like this is way thicker than it should be. Okay, so I think I'm doing everything correctly. We're just gonna see how this is gonna go. Maybe it just needs more mixing. Like, I cannot smear this on anything. At least this guy's empty. Okay, that doesn't work. I don't get it! What did I do wrong? Okay, we're gonna add more butter and hope that that solves our problems. And if it doesn't, then, then we'll see. Okay, I decided to add more milk, and it's looking pretty good now, but it really isn't a lot, which makes sense, because I did like one-third of the recipe, so... Yay? Okay, this might be a mistake, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit more milk, so it becomes a little bit more fluid, so that we can actually like smear it, and we're gonna see. Just a tiny bit, because <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my god, everything is in here, like, there's nothing left, why is everything in there? But honestly, it's looking good, look at it! Let's go! I think that's done. Okay, there's one more step we're gonna do before we go to decorating, and that is, I'm gonna get, well, I'm gonna get this cake out, and then we're gonna, like, cut it and put this in between, which I've, once again, never done before. And I really hope that this is loose, and that it doesn't break. Knife to the rescue. Oh, that is stuck. I think we got it. Wow! Ta-da! Okay, so this is the biggest knife I could find. Um, it's kind of thin. I don't think this is gonna go well. But we're gonna do our best. Oh, that's... Oh! Oh my god, this is not gonna- oh, that's disgusting. This is not gonna go well. I'm also way too high already. No, this is not going well. Oh my god. Oh shoot. Now I'm stuck. Oh my god, guys! Wait, look! 
Okay, wait. I have a plan. Um, this one there. <gasps> oh my god, I did it! Wow. I actually did it, and it's not too bad. It's not even. This guy is like twice as thick. But we're not gonna body shame the cake here. I really hope that this like indent is not gonna pose a problem. But only time will tell. It's not burnt. I'm actually impressed guys by myself. There we go. No, wait, this one, dude, shoot! Okay, I think this one is a little flatter, and then it's gonna be easier with cutting, because this one, do. Okay, let's go. I want to keep, like, a little bit for the decorating, but not that much anymore. Okay, welcome to my bedroom, the best place to make cupcakes, to decorate them. So we really don't have a lot of this. So I'm gonna have to see what I'm gonna do. Because even if you divide this in like 12, because there's 12 cupcakes, I don't think all of the cupcakes are gonna have icing on them. Actually, the jam is still downstairs. I'll be right back. Okay, update. I found the jam. I, don't, I think it's called jelly, but we... Ugh, jam sounds weird. Um, I also found this, which is probably gonna be my breakfast, because it's like 12. But we can maybe use some of the fruits, because this is not gonna be enough. And then, I don't know if I showed them yet, but I have like these for like the drawing part. I have no idea how they're gonna work. But we're gonna make it work! Okay, one more thing. So yesterday I had like two hours to plan. And I was like, let's just plan the cupcake. So like I said, I'm gonna make them have an official blessing themed. So I doodled a whole bunch of things regarding that. So for the main cake, I definitely want the two of them to be on there. And maybe like their fox and ferret form, because those are just adorable. And then like for the cupcakes, I wanted to do like all of the attributes, like the flower, butterfly, emming, and stuff like that. So that's the planning. Isn't that lovely? I also have this list with things with Tinkerbell on it, because uh, beautiful. But yeah, we can just like use all of these. There's plenty, I think. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is start with a cupcake, because I don't think it's a good idea to start with a big cake, obviously. And we're gonna see how well this works. Once again, I've never done this before, so. Also, I think by the end of this, my sketchbook is gonna be full of frosting and other stuff, which is not good. Actually, I don't think we need that much. That might do, and then just kind of do that, I guess. Kind of works. There we go, a little layer of white. It's opaque. And then... Well, that works. I really hope these works, because they're kind of all I have. I thought that I had like more of them, more decorations, but I forgot that I threw like pretty much all of them away because they were really, really old. One of them was expired in 2013, which... Yeah, they were old. But we're gonna see how well these work. I hope they do. I also have these colors. Well, we're mostly gonna use red, I think. Oh, there's white. Color swatching. We, we, like, maybe we should swatch them, but I'm not gonna swatch them in my sketchbook, and I don't know. I don't think we need to swatch them, actually, because it's just this. So I don't think we're gonna use the green much. Maybe for the flower, the yellow for... I don't know. Am I supposed to squeeze these, maybe? Shake them? Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna have to squeeze like every single one of them for a minute. This is great exercise for my hands. Let's just start with this one because we know we're gonna use it. This feels kind of weird. Okay, I think that was a minute, so we can use it. But I haven't thought of what I'm gonna use it for actually. Are they opened? Oh, I think they are. Look at him. Oh, it looks like mouse poop! Oh, I've missed that. Actually, I want to start... Okay, I want to start with something simple. And I think... I want to use this one for, like, the curl. Right? There's kind of... There's a little bit left. I think that would be 
a good idea. Also, this, no, it's not in frame. I put this here for decorations. I'm not gonna put it here because it's gonna get gross. But I have it, I have it, it's great, I love it. Um, so we're gonna, ooh, there's a knife here, that's not good. My desk is an absolute mess. Also, I forgot to show you guys these. I collected some fruits. We're gonna start with the flower. I think I'm gonna do it with this one because it's a white flower. I think this video is gonna be like 60 minutes long, which is immense. Although it only is... Okay, so a bit of a backstory, guys, while I uh, knit this behind the scenes. I don't know if anyone's interested in that, but I am. And it's my channel. I can do what I want. So I've edited like everything except for well, this because it doesn't exist yet. And it's gonna have to go up tomorrow in a bit over 24 hours and I still have other things to do so I think we'll be fine but it was honestly kind of fun like editing my past couple videos have just been like one recording and then editing that and then that's it but this one has like different parts and that might and that might make it more fun to watch as well oh my god <clears throat> so I'm hoping it is I'm hoping that someone's enjoying this video okay I'm ready I'm not ready but the moment of truth guys we have Caramel. We're gonna do it this side then. That's working. Look at it. Oh, that actually works really well. There we go, a flower. Give it a little center. That actually worked kind of well. I think it's gonna work out just fine. And the little stem. This is way too thin. It's also an incredibly Normally, I would not choose this green. <laughs> Maybe leaf. There we have a flower! I love it! That actually doesn't look all too bad. And then we can grab some... This is so gonna fall off. We're gonna make a little hole. Okay, so for those who don't know what any of this means, um, we have a flower, which is just a flower. Well, it's not just a flower, it's the white flower. I'm making a little hole for the pearl, which if you don't know, it's a pearl. And it's red. We're gonna see if this is gonna work. Is this just a flap? What, a, what the hell? Oh no. Okay. Oh my god, that almost went wrong. Ta-da! Maybe we should put like an outline around it with this one, with the milky one. We'll see if this is gonna go well. Oh, it's not. Well, that's a perfect circle. Look at it. Actually, on camera? It looks really shiny, which is exactly what I wanted. It's just not a circle, but that's fine. Look at it! That's adorable! I love it! Oh my god. I'm actually really excited now. We only have 11 more and a cake to go. Woo! So next up, what we're gonna do is make Emming and Droya, which is like the weapons from Shillian and Hua Cheng. So we're gonna do our best, and I also just realized what if we use the gem jelly again for the eye, because that will look good. And it's gonna look shiny as well. Okay, let's just let's just freehand a scimitar. This is fine. Uh, maybe I'm gonna use the black actually. Oh, this is not gonna fit, guys. I'm just gonna have to go with it. Well, it's the scimitar, alright. You know? That could have turned out way worse. Okay, so time for a Roya. It's just a silk band. So should we do a squiggle and just wing it? Not a good idea, but that is what we're gonna do. There we go. Look at it. Okay, so now more jelly. Not that much. Oh my god. I need a toothpick or something. Okay, so I sometimes use toothpicks for like get in details with paints. So I have some laying in my room. This works. I really hope- I, I really wonder how this is gonna look tomorrow. But we're gonna add the eye! Oh my god. Oh, it's sticking. Get off. Oh my god, guys. I actually want to take like a picture of this up close, but then I have to move. Look at it! That doesn't look bad. It's actually recognizable if you know them. That's great. Oh my god. Oh my god, everything's falling apart. The way I'm standing right now, I'm gonna get a... I'm gonna get back aching sometime soon. 
But like, I'm honestly surprised at how well this worked out, because like, right as I was making this frosting, right, um, it didn't look all that good, and I really didn't know how I was gonna make it work. But I did make it work! Honestly, I have a talent for making things work, even though I have no clue how to do them, and I refuse to look them up. I think, um, I might know why. You guys often get like cake videos in your feed and I don't mean like the which one is cake because those are the absolute worst but also like just like cake decorations with like a story under it I'm like I don't actually care but then I watch them right because that's the fun of social media you just keep watching okay guys next up let's do Chi Ching Chuan's fan with the earth master shovel because I feel like it we can maybe make the fan green do we have blue? We do not have blue. Um, but we have green, we're gonna make the fan. Not fang, fan. I kind of wanna try like writing on it. Cause I think I can write wind. Oh, this is going well. Wow, that's surprisingly well. Okay. I'm gonna write the character for wind. Oh, this is not gonna fit or be readable at all. I'm actually not sure if there's one. Actually, I think I need one line more. Is not working. Okay, that will have to do. It looks perfect. And then the Earth Master shovel. Maybe we can use this one. I don't know what a shovel looks like. I'm just gonna make a normal shovel, alright. I'm gonna look up what a shovel looks like. Okay, so I looked it up and on the Wikipedia it said image not available. So that's very um, convenient. But it also said that it resembles a monk's spade. And I looked that up. So we're gonna redraw that. I forgot I can't stop and I only looked at the bottom, okay. Oh no. What even is that? This is not working, okay. Perfect! Wow, look at it! Should I write Earth? I don't know if Earth is written like that. Wow, that's actually... Okay, no, it's not that one, it's the other one. Okay, so I don't speak Chinese for any of you who did not know that. Um, but there we go, this is the one I meant, it's an element. But um, I do speak some Japanese, and Japanese is similar to Chinese in a way. The characters, well the characters are Chinese, so that is not readable actually, but none of my friends can read Chinese, this is fine, look at it, look at it. We have the Earth Master Shovel and the Wind Master's Fan. Cute. I want to draw something, something... I'm gonna draw the ferret form of Shillian. And we're just gonna wing it, because I'm getting impatient. Oh my god, what does his body look like? He has legs, for sure. And eyes. Aw, oh, so cute. <laughs> this looks horrible. Um, his tail. And then like, well yeah, around his... Oh, he needs leg arms. It looks like boobs. Okay. This is fine. Look at him. So cute. Honestly, he looks kind of cute. I'm gonna give him blush. I hope this is gonna go well. I don't think I ne needed it for a minute. This is not gonna go well. Blush one. Alright. Blush two. Look at him. He's honestly kind of cute. So now we're gonna freehand a fox. Uh, this is gonna go even worse. We're gonna start with the ears. Uh, I don't have a reference snout and Oh, that's not what I wanted Like one is gonna be sitting not shitting no sitting Actually, that could have been worse. What if he's reaching his hand to his Guga? I should write Guga somewhere and his other foot and Then oh, he needs a tail maybe what the foxes still look like I think something like that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Anyways, um, maybe I can use that. Okay, now there's some. Um, yeah, he's gonna need blush as well. Pikachu has blush, and then he's gonna need one eye and one eye patch. Oh my god, look at him! I love them! 
That is actually adorable. Oh my god, this is my favorite so far. Okay, I'm actually, I looked him up, like the fox version of him. And he has like a dark tail. So there we have a dark tail. And the rest won't load, but his ears were also dark. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add hearts. I love them. I'm gonna add one heart in between. Guys! Oh my god, okay. Literally, I love them. Oh my god. Okay, next up, let's do one of those butterflies that I've never managed to draw well. That's gonna go great. Let's freehand them. What more can we put on here? Nah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, that's already going wrong. Oh, that's just a leg. Okay, that's better. That's kind of a butterfly. I'm starting to get impatient, which is not very good. They're gonna get eaten anyway, so who even cares? And another butterfly, maybe one from the side. I'm honestly surprised at these pens. I was afraid that they weren't gonna work well. And that I'd just be, uh, I just have a problem. But they work well. If you're like, these butterflies look horrid. Um, I agree. This is not the best one so far. But we can't all be stars. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Oh, that's not even working. This is just a star. But we can add like a red string Ooh, the sun and rain it's time for to, it's time for look a rainbow i did not find a rainbow that's fine it's the first time using this one wait oh my god oh oh that's fine there we have the butterflies not the best one okay we have like a lot of cupcakes left with this one we're gonna be halfway and you know what? That's fine. Um, we're gonna do the ring. Uh, might go wrong, but we can use the jelly again. I'm not even in a good stance for this. Where am I going with this? How that work? I know that it's like silver, but we don't have silver or gray or anything. So it's brown. And then like... This is not needed well enough. Oh, you can't even see it. What if I put it off the cupcake? Oh my god. And it goes like whoop all the way over here. And then in the space that's left, we can add the string once again. In a little Whoa. Uh oh. Okay, we're gonna cross this. There we go. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no 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 Oh No I kind of feel like I'm performing surgery here So I put the icing on the rest of the cupcakes Next up I wanted to draw Function's mask which wasn't the biggest success as well as a cursed shackle and then I had like more space at the bottom and I thought, might as well add yet another shackle because Shillian has two. So that's what that is. Up next are some dice to represent like the gambler's den, right? And wow, if there's one thing I like drawing, it's gonna be drawing boxes in perspective on a spherical cupcake with weird paint pens. No, okay, but... It honestly didn't turn out too bad. Um, the design is a little weird. Uh, it's a little awkward, but I just added some dots because there was space. Oh, and also the half-eaten bun because I thought that'd be funny. It's not recognizable, but it is funny. Okay guys, I have like four cupcakes remaining and I'm actually already running out of ideas which I did not expect but that's mostly because I decided to like combine a bunch of them um but one thing that we can do is add is it a frame? no is add one of those oh my god bone thingies from the black water arc whatever the arc's called which <laughs> also look at this look at this guys isn't that so cute I love it I decided to keep it on because it's fitting. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna freehand it. Because, um, yes. So, this is not gonna go well. Also, if you're wondering, yes, 
the part before this just now was a voiceover because my mother was close and I didn't want her to hear me and this video is getting so long that's fine people who will want to watch will watch I'm not forcing anyone to watch it I don't even know what I'm doing by the way I like bones it's gonna have skull oh that looks not all too bad I was so confused when reading this, I was like, they're bones, and they're fish, and they're gigantic, and they're, like, violent. I was like, what even is happening? But to be honest, that entire arc was violent, and what even was happening? But I'm not gonna give spoilers. There we go. Maybe add another eye. That's not a good idea. Oh, maybe. That doesn't look too bad. Let's add another skeleton thingy here. Once again, to fill up the space. I just kind of wanted to start the big cake. Because I feel like it's time. There we go. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm surprised. I have like five minutes of footage of me putting icing on this cake, but this video is plenty long already, so this is all you'll get. Okay, so I've added frosting to the cake and it wasn't really enough and it also looks rough um, but it's, it's what we have and we're gonna have to go with it. with it. I also cut up a bunch of these and I thought maybe we can use these for like the edges but we're first gonna draw because that is what we need. So I have, kind of have a thumbnail and that thumbnail is just like Hua Cheng here and Chilean there and then like maybe happy birthday or some kind of attributes. But I honestly just want to wing it and we're just gonna do it and it's gonna be really fun. I kind of want one of those really bad looking cakes because I think that's hilarious. So we're gonna freehand it. I don't even have a reference. I kind of have a reference because my books are all around but my books are also supporting the tripod. So and uh, we're just gonna start. We're gonna start with the eye patch. Eye patch. String. Crying baby outside I oh this is already not going well eyebrow nose oh that's not what I wanted okay sure nose is gonna be smiling this is going so incredibly well um yep time for the hair maybe I should do the chin first actually continue into the chin This is why I'm an artist. This is beautiful. Look at him. I think I'm gonna do his eye with red or like a lighter color, so that's why I haven't done it yet. I hope that we can still get the pearl in here actually. We have his neck. Looks rendered. Rendered? Rendered. This thing is already getting empty. Gorilla's grip. Give him a little that. Oh my god, okay. Oh, we have a little a loose hair. This eye patch does not look good. I wonder if I can like fill it in. Oh oh. That is gross. Okay. Just do that. See this is gonna turn out great. We're gonna eat him anyway, so doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna need the braid, obviously. I'm gonna add the pearl a little bit higher than I normally do because otherwise it won't fit. Braid. Maybe some. We're gonna add his shorts thingy. Oh my god, okay. He's gonna be a broad man, so this is all gonna be his shoulder. Fabric lines. Yeah, so cute. Maybe not make his eye red, maybe this one. This is going so well. Oh no. You know what? That could be a lot worse. It's also probably just gonna be line art. Oh my god. Because I don't really know how I'm gonna fill them. Because I don't really know how I'm gonna fill all of this in. That works. Oh my god. I'm really just winging it. But I think that's pretty obvious. It doesn't look bad. His face is um, disproportionate to say the least. But considering what on earth I'm doing. 
It could be a lot worse. Look at him. That's all I want if I chain cake. His neck needs to be thicker. That is honestly really cute. I kind of love that. And now it's time for Shillian. Which is not it's barely gonna fit. But like then it looks like he's taller. And Shillian is obviously not taller. He's just sitting on something. Oh my god, it looks like I shit at my mouth. He's sitting on his shoulder. Also, I might do it with this one, even though that's kind of weird because this one is already getting kind of empty and hard to squeeze. So we're just gonna do this one. We also still have some jelly if needed. Let's go. He has actually two eyes, that makes it harder. We're just gonna start with the eyes. Oh, my phone is almost empty. Oh my god. This does not work. This does not work at all. What if we make it three quarter? Can I give him. Oh no. Give him a nose. Splendidly. Eyebrow. Another eyebrow. That's kind of working. He looks a little concerned. Give him a smile. He looks very concerned. This is awful. Oh my god. Chin. Oh my god. This is fine. He's gigantic also. Got his hair. Just gonna do it all in one line. <laughs> he looks horrible. <laughs> I hate it. I kind of hate it. Okay, that's fine. I should have thought. I should have put more thought into this. And I knew that I shouldn't. Didn't I say? I was just gonna wing it and then hate it. I think I did. The rest of his hair. His chin. Can I redo the eyes, you guys think? If I just... Oh. Whoop! <laughs> Grab your eye! That worked better than expected. Control Z, who needs him? There we go. Now he even has eye holes. Oh, that's not what I want. You know, I think that might be better. Actually, they need to go lower, I think. See, this is a perfect medium. I would recommend drawing on cakes. He's still gigantic though. Oh. Aww. That's kind of cute. I kind of like that. Should I write happy birthday? Or should I just do like a little string? What if I write birthday? What? I'm gonna write 19. Happy birthday is not gonna fit. Um. What if I make it like it's part of the string? Oh, I need to knead this more. That's a little too late now. It's one. Connect this, maybe. See, that says 19. That's mm, perfect. Maybe some more string over here. Oh no. You know what? That could be worse! <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I really didn't. I didn't. <laughs> it looks horrendous. It really does. Maybe, I'm like, I'm not gonna do it yet, but maybe on the day that- Oh, this is so heavy. Um, like, the edges look <laughs> messed up. Um, maybe I can like put whipped cream or something to like hide it. But I think we're gonna add like... I think we're gonna add like the fruits, these fruits, to the edges if it fits. It's probably gonna be watery, but we're just gonna do this. It does not fit. They're too big. This just looks weird. It's not gonna fit. That's, no, that's weird. I don't like that. Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna cut them smaller. There we go. So yeah, as you could see, my mother came into my room, but I just continued working because I really wanted to be done with them. And my mother was impressed though, I am, I'm an amazing child, wow. Anyways, I was running out of ideas, so I thought of just writing Shillian and Hua Cheng. 
and going from there, but I was once again too stubborn to look up how to actually write the names. Um, I think I wrote Chilean correctly, but for Hua Cheng, I was distracted because I was still talking to my mother. Uh, and I started with Sheng, and then I was like, that's not right, so then I had to like scoop it up and start over, but it worked. And um, then the stroke order was wrong, but you don't know that, so pretend I didn't say it. So after doodling Hong Honger, which I did um, off camera because I forgot to record it. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I also wanted to doodle like the Crown Prince of Shenle. So that is what I'm doing right now. This one was honestly kind of fun. I, I was also glad that it was the last one. Okay guys, I don't know how much of that is going to be in the video, but um, I made... Well, I made this one, and I forgot to film it. I generally forgot. I drew Hong Honger, I guess. He's kind of cute, honestly. Not too bad. This one is... I tried writing it. Uh, too stubborn to look something up. Okay, even I'm not sure what all of the lines are. But we have the Crown Prince of Shenle. Yeah, that's that one. I was very uh, uninspired. I, I just want to be done. Which I am! I finished all of them. So now it's time to take lots of pictures. Um, yeah. And here are the finished results. I'm actually really happy with them, especially the cupcakes. I would have taken a lot more pictures and videos, but my phone was literally just about to die. So I couldn't really, and I also really needed to get refrigerated but because they had been out of the... Um, yeah because they have been out for like hours because this took so long so i hope that you like them oh my god so i hope that you like them um tell me which one of these is your favorite mine is probably the fox and the ferret one i also hope they're actually gonna be delicious i'm gonna eat them tomorrow but we're gonna see so like i said earlier i really want to create a portfolio and just improve my art there's also some other goals I have this year, like continuing to try my best on this YouTube channel, which I only started it a couple months ago, but it's been a lot of fun, so I'm probably gonna continue that. Although, if I'm really honest, my like view on video making changes like several times a week. Sometimes I'm like, this is the best thing ever, and other times I'm like, okay, what if I just stop posting? Then I'm like, no, no, let's not. So we're just gonna see how much I'm gonna continue doing that. I will definitely continue to create, whether that's in video format or just artworks. I am, in case you don't know, also active on Instagram where I post most of my art and just sketches and fun things like that. Go follow me on Instagram if you want to, hey? Ha, <laughs> okay. Can you guys tell that this video is already, that I'm not even sure what I'm doing? I really am not. Following my script. Life really does get difficult every now and then, and priorities will shift from time to time. But I think that if you stay positive and try your best to take good care of yourself, everything will turn out just fine. I had like a segue for that, but I just started rambling, so that didn't really fit. But I do agree with that, I wrote that 10 minutes ago, so... Yes, everything will be fine, guys. But I think that will be enough ranting about my resolutions, quote unquote. I think, like I said earlier, that I kind of made these up on the spot and they're not really set in stone or anything. I'm not gonna beat myself up if I don't follow all of them. So I think it's finally time to start talking about the drawing in the background, you know. So like I said earlier, it is a self-portrait and I think birthdays are like a great day to make a self-portrait because if you make them every year, you're one gonna see how, me how much your art progresses but also how much you progress as a person because I really look different than I did three years ago, which let's for fun, let's see if I can find my self-portraits from birthdays from previous years. They might be on the screen right now, I hope you're enjoying them. Then about the drawing itself, uh, I really don't have all that much to say about it, it's not really anything special, but um, it's probably not on the screen anymore right now, but I started with like another drawing and I just didn't like the pose, the anatomy just looked off and I didn't actually like the face or the expression, it didn't really look like me and the composition was just off and awkward so I was like, okay, well we're starting over which it's really starting to get a trend with me recording my, my illustrations for videos and then I'm like, no I don't like this and I have to start over all again 
I really hope I don't have to keep doing that, but for today we have. And also, um, so I wanted to make a, <laughs> this is so stupid, I wanted to make a reel, um, or a short or whatever, where it was just me staring at you with possibly very tired look in my eyes with a birthday cake in front of me, which doesn't look like the birthday cake that I'm going to make, but it is a cake that says that I'm 19, because fun fact, I will be 19 when you see this, or you see this in a year, that would be crazy. That'd be 20, 20 is old, oh my God. Okay, I'm just assuming that all of you are watching this the day I come out. I come out, hi <laughs> guys, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, the day this video comes out and I am 19. This is horrible. Oh, I've got to keep all of this in. I think that would be funny. I really don't care too much with this video. So, like I was trying to say, I wanted to make like a short or a reel. And like where the lights are changing, like they're LED party lights. And then with the one and only Caramel Dunson playing in the background. I thought that would be funny, and it is kind of funny. I don't know if other people think it's funny, but I do, so it's a success. Also, I don't often draw in black and white because I kind of rely on color variations for um, contrast rather than value contrast, and also like saturation. So it was kind of hard to render, but I think I did a pretty good job in the end. And it also kind of looks like me. I really think that the self-portraits that I've been doing way too often lately, uh, are actually kind of paying off, so that's cool. So here we have the finished results, I hope that you like it, I thought it was funny. Okay, and that will be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed coming along with me as I baked some cakes and a cupcake, as well as paint a self-portrait. I really want to wish you guys again the best in 2024. 2024 is a good number, like, just roll over. Okay. Um, and I hope that your year is filled with, like, beautiful art and positive thoughts and that you have a great time. If your 2023 was great, let's hope 2024 is even better. Woo! Okay. It's, um, time to stop this video. I want to thank you guys for watching and also for all of the love and support that you've given me in the past couple months on this YouTube channel. I'm really glad that there are these many people. These many people. Um, thank you. Thank you guys. And with that, have a great day. Bye.